discovery dc comics it's in there i can feel it archaeologists who go by feel this would have been fun to see we say nothing for now let's enjoy this moment before he knows before i know what how long this movie is no we are. this is a good way to get your luggage stolen thinking yoga bicycles and coffee shops are the hallmarks of gentrification when it's really astroturf bicycle pants and white people i love how starbucks is the villain in this shot I mean, yeah, Starbucks is a villain, but in this case, someone came along before them and saw underutilized land, bought it, built a strip mall, and is now charging Starbucks rent to be here. That is a bigger villain in this instance than whatever rent-paying chain is paying to be here. Mmm, auto shop's gone. Dad had a heart attack. Damn movie, are you sure there isn't a dog you need to kill to get the combo bonus? Also, holy fucking sh**. He went to college and they lost the shop and are losing the house and Dad had a heart attack and did they not have phones at his college? What the f if your dad has a heart attack while you're away at college but waits for you to graduate and come home to tell you about it, he might be an asshole. 25%? Acting like 25% is too big of a tip. We are broke. Then why did you come to a restaurant to feed six people? It's not my fault your future didn't turn out the way you wanted. This is the best job he can get with a college degree? I know the job market is tough, but I am not sure he looked as hard as he could have. From our Promethean mines in Guatemala to our real estate developments right here in Palmera City. Promotional video's position. The the One Man Army Corps. People who use the acronym before explaining what it means are only slightly better than people who use the acronym without explaining it, but expect everyone to know what they're talking about. Basically, acronyms can s mac I deserve a luxury dump right now, all right? She's going to do a number two in the cord lady's bathroom for no good reason, making her brother stand guard. She hasn't been shown to be a risk taker. The movie just needs to jumpstart sh and is using a literal sh to do so. Oh, look, she made Robocop Iron Man. How original. Storing your wines where they can get all the light. Cyber stalking. I feel like I failed you guys. Hmm, that's probably only because of the immense pressure they put on you as the first of your family to go to college. Jaime, take the wisdom from Goodwill Hunting. It's not your fault. La familia, that's forever. Not if you have another heart attack. Jaime! 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 This scene where they try to embarrass him at his new job isn't funny. Why don't you have a seat, Jamie? He has said his name correctly twice, and she's not, like reading it off the computer. I understand someone calling him Jamie after reading his name, but she heard it and recognized it as the Spanish version of Jamie and translated it into American just to be a racist dick. Honestly, the writing here is lazier than the receptionist. Jenny Cord is going to gain access to the super secret sh using a single pass card she swiped off another worker. Cord Industries might consider beefing up security with some fingerprint or eyeball scanners and, you know, some cameras. Also, Jenny Cord's super young board member at an important company is an expert pickpocket, apparently. The first escalator was taking him to the same floor as the one he jumped to, but it was doing it faster and easier. Guard that with your life, okay. but do not open it. Is that even possible? You just handed him a burger box, but you're acting like there are military secrets inside, and if I'm Jaime, I'm opening that box first chance I get, either to see the military secrets or preferably to eat a burger. So please, mm, she said for no. you to not open it. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Does this character have any redeeming qualities? Jaime will claim that the beetle didn't climb in his butt, even though it looks a lot like it's crawling toward his butt, so I must settle to send anything of alien origin that sneaks inside you without consent. Man. Now, in addition to being evicted, they're going to owe the landlord so much money and damages. The movie is doing the whole hero falls back to earth because they don't understand their powers yet cliche. And I would give it negative sins if they freshened it up by killing off Jaime right now and making the scarab start over. I don't know how to do it! Could this guy be any more like Spider-Man? I suppose he will make his way back home when he learns to fly. Everyone survives this without any minor scrapes, cuts, or bruises from this nonsense. Neither of these bus halves should be standing up after this. I don't have time to explain, but this is not how bus halves work. Never mind. We found him. Weren't you on hold? I'm on hold again. Yeah, who are you talking to? Where are you my phone? You left it unlocked? Seriously, this character is the worst. No way. I didn't believe the convenience of her being outside right as you showed up either. I get that it's cord and they have government ties, but openly waging war on U.S. soil with impunity? Think of how many bribes this would cost. I went swimming out there by where your family has that company. My testicles are seven times their normal size. Starting to realize why this movie is over two hours long. Also, seven times larger is a very specific amount of times larger that I think would have to have been measured to really be that specific about, which means he would have to have had measured his testicles before swimming in the muck water just to be able to have their base size for this later seven times bigger declaration. Come on, we are the Reyes. Careful, Alberto. Bride comes before the House of Usher. Peace up. A-Town down. We've dealt with harder things. You literally have not. So what are we talking about? A laser-based security system? 
white area, motion imagery, maybe uh, photonic emitters. It turns out Uncle Conspiracy has been working on something that could help them beat the security system at Cord, just by coincidence. Also, the Cord building is going to have all that fancy security sh he just mentioned, but they were keeping the scarab in a room that only required a key card. Also, also, I googled photonic emitters, and the first result is nature.com, but the second result is Wikipedia, so. As we do a bit of a one-shot following the quiet bodyguard at the Cord residence, I continue to realize why this movie is over two hours long. How badly crippled you were. Eh, we don't use that C word anymore, y'all. Language evolves and you gotta keep up. I am just trying to fix you. While making a trillion dollars in the process. Thankfully, this guy clearly sees through her and is probably going to go Darth Vader and toss her emperor ass into a bottomless pit that leads to space. <laughs> Only in the movies do crazy inventors create insanely complicated machines that only start if you kick them. I know you're messing with the cameras, but wouldn't you still wear a mask here? In case you run into any, you know, humans? She just said the key is in here, and now she's searching the receptionist desk? Carapax walks right past Rudy's truck, but doesn't have a single question about the bizarre machine parked in front of the cord building. Oh my god. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be way harder than that. Celebration Prematura. Should we run? He's not slowing down. Well, you shouldn't just stand here and talk about it. The implanted scarab reacts to an attack here, but did not react or come out when Uncle Doofus threw a shoe at Jaime. What the hell is that thing? The Omeg. What the fucking f Didn't Cord Lady just say? Without the scarab, we can't complete the Omeg. So how is there an Omeg if they didn't get the scarab and therefore didn't complete the Omeg? Shouldn't she at least be calling it the unfinished Omeg? Question mark, exclamation mark, infinity. Engaging threat. The scarab suit seems to be doing all the work here, requiring the college kid to learn nothing. Stupid boy. You think you could beat me? This guy was so silent he was basically the Yarp Narp guy from Hot Fuzz up until this moment. Now he's speechifying as he kicks ass like a goddamn poet. Carapax keeps throwing and kicking Jaime around instead of killing him. Can't tell if he wants to finish the fight or if he's just tenderizing Jaime's body. Warning, post concussion uh, detected. Okay, so is the suit not doing a good enough job protecting him or what? The suit is activated and it f***ing split an innocent bus in half to protect its host. So why isn't it doing any of that sh right now? This is f***. Holy sh**, the superhero movie is going to do the American History X curb stomp. Sh Even if they don't, I'm adding five cents for coming so close. How the f*** did Uncle Whatever get this vehicle running after it took a hail of gunfire earlier? Did every single bullet miss vital engine parts? <laughs> this works. No one's been here since I was eight. Okay, that might explain why they think this is a good hideout, but it doesn't explain the flamingos. The Beetle Cave booting up this well after years of disuse. Ted Cord was Blue Beetle? Did I miss a scene where there was a previous Blue Beetle? Fuck. I missed a scene. Fuck. What the hell was Blue Beetle? Oh, you were a kid. It's like Palmera superhero. Why wouldn't Jaime have heard this legend before now? He lives in the poor East Keys part of Palmera City, and he's never heard of this local hero before now? That's some bullshit. Batman's a fascist. I'm not going to remove a sin because it's George Lopez, but he's absolutely correct. My dad was never able to unlock the scarab. Because it didn't choose him. We've already been over this aspect of the scarab, have we not? So instead, he built his own tech to fight his blue beetle. If there's a way to get it out, it's in there. Wait, what? He couldn't get the scarab unlocked, so he made up his own tech, and somehow that made-up tech is going to tell you how to get the scarab out of Jaime? Your house is full of love. How many scenes could a scarab skip if a scarab could skip scenes? You're a good listener. He's horny. Maybe what, Rudy? It's all bad news. This is how he responds to finding out his superpowers are permanent. This motherfucker is here networking with a billionaire. F you, Jaime. Oh, Jaime finding out that there is still an hour left of this movie. I'm a laching. The f The universe has sent you a gift, Jaime, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. And remember, with great gifts comes the responsibility of sending handwritten thank you cards. That's Victoria. How the f do you know who's in that helicopter? We are authorized to use deadly force. By whom? You gotta force it to come out. Ah, college girlfriend flashbacks. <laughs> this table has been through a lot. <laughs> They're all cocking their guns now after they have already raided the house. I could use that arsenal right about now. And by arsenal, apparently he meant a cow catcher. Oh my God, I'm bulletproof. Good, because you did absolutely nothing to avoid those bullets. Oh sh they brought the Zorg ZF-1 into this mess. No kaji, no killing! You can't prove nobody died from this. So he can fly, he's bulletproof, he can make arm cannons. I don't see this guy facing any serious threats because he can do everything. I mean, Superman at least has kryptonite. This guy's indestructible. For all of Jaime's talk of not being a killer, 
I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. The suit is supposed to protect him. That's why it blocks bullets with shields and wouldn't even let a city bus run into him. But this claw harpoon, the suit is all, well, nothing I can do about that, it's purple. So now that the father has had another heart attack and died, you might think I feel a little guilty about my joke earlier, but you'd be wrong. This only makes that joke even awesomer. Also, superheroes always have to have dead parents cliche. Tenemos que salvar a Jaime. No, it's necessary over the dad. We have to go and save Jaime. You don't have to, right? I might know where he is. <laughs> Has she just been hanging back for several hours as the firefighters fought the fire and the family mourned the dad, but she was still within eavesdropping distance? Let's go. Sure, Jaime's being tortured to death, but what is the point of rescuing him if the ship ain't tagged properly? <laughs> God damn it. Dead Ted was keeping this thing fully fueled? How did that fuel not break down chemically over time? Previously hidden facsimile Blue Beetle ship is conveniently filled with amazing inventions and weapons. But now that you've activated it, we can transfer its code directly into the OMAC. It's an alien being. Does it have transferable code? Oh! Ah! Hey! I don't be 20 points! What a weird juxtaposition between Jaime's absolute insistence on not killing anyone. But no one ever accused this movie of consistency. No one in this movie does anything. It's all being done by the Scarab and the former Beatles tech. The humans are as worthless as can be. Somehow these people have managed to build a machine that can suck the code out of the Blue Beetle's suit. And I am stupider for having typed this out and then said it out loud into a microphone. His pulse is dropping. Well, just fix it. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not sure if I want to send the dialogue or Sarandon's phoned in performance. Well, ah, let's do both. This shot is on backwards. Either the dream is collapsing or we've fallen into a quantum tesseract. Either way, Christopher Nolan has proven that love is quantifiable. El escarabajo te ha elegido por una razón. What that reason is, we will never know. Get your family and get off this island, okay? Former bad guy gains a conscience and will now die helping the hero cliche. Sanchez dies to give Jaime a head start on finding his family, but instead, Jaime hangs around to watch Sanchez's death instead of using that head start. Mama. What is the point of having Jaime against killing this whole movie only for his entire family to murder people like crazy? Why even write that in as a character trait? Killing is obviously fine with the filmmakers. Where did you learn to shoe like that? Asking this question after what was mostly a point and spray operation. Ah, the old cave-in separates two heroes routine. I want you to go back in there. There's still 30 minutes left in this thing. I still don't understand how they got the powers out of the beetle suit without the beetle suit or its alien symbiote losing any abilities. They somehow copy pasted these invincible abilities from an alien parasite using electrical cables and it's unfathomably stupid. It's dumber than infinity stones, organic web shooters, vats of acid making people evil instead of dead, underwater heroes that talk to fish, made up impenetrable metals, and bat shark repellent. I see DC decided to copy Marvel and go with the same versus same battle for the finale. Sweet. But also, it took Jaime a long time to get used to his suit and its abilities to learn them, and he's still pretty shit at it, honestly. So how did Oddjob figure out his new suit and abilities immediately? Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Again, not sure how he's not indestructible. Just imagine a giant hydraulic press with this bad guy in it wrapped in the same purple claw that grabbed you earlier and walk away. Movie's finale turns into a Transformers movie. <laughs> Regenerative systems critical. What the hell, Scarab? You have weak spots? Jaime, I cannot protect you anymore. Why? Rudy. Jaime. Dread disarmed. Now we're gonna do a hero is so mad they nearly beat the villain to death until someone reminds them that they are the hero thing. We last saw in Spider-Man No Way Home, but it was far beyond stale even then. During the transfer, I unlocked his memories. Deus Ex Flash back enough. Showing us a more compelling story in this minute of flashback than you did in the entire movie. I don't understand this beetle suit at all. It seems very nanotech-like when it takes over his human form, but here it's missing half a mask and just refuses to reform the rest of the mask. Is that part of the alien entity gone forever? So after showing us all the horrific shit Ignacio went through throughout his entire life, so much pain that Jaime stopped his attack and embraced the man. After all that, you're going to have him choose to kill himself with the blessings of his dead mother's heaven ghost just to also take out the villain? I really wish movies would stop making intentional and unnecessary suicide look like heroism. He's not accepting an inevitable death, he's walking deliberately into the fire. <laughs> the only reason we are watching him run from this explosion is that he's an idiot who had to stand around and watch. <laughs> this guy can't do anything on his own. Why are they all wearing black? Did they go straight from dad's funeral to the burned out house? Are they gonna clean up while wearing these clothes? I think this movie's biggest sin is that it asks way more questions than it ever answers. 
What are we going to do now? Jenny is about to show up and solve most of this, but it feels like she just peaced out and said, thanks for all the help with the hostile takeover of my aunt's company. Later, suckers. It's awesome that the neighbors showed up to bring them food, but you can't store that shit anywhere here. This is a toxic plot of land, actually. They need gloves and heavy trash bags and masks and shit not covered dishes. It's nice that Milagro helps here, but her mom could not give a shit. Cord Industries will fix and give you back your house. I should f***ing hope so. Whoever turned on my computer, get a message to my daughter, Jenny. I guess the father never died, or he's in a computer like that Truman Capote guy from Captain America's Civil War. That's fun. mid credit scenes continue to suck. El <laughs> Something about this cartoon made George Lopez... Oh, that's sexy. Orgasm? This is... Boring. This could be another decoy. It's in there. I can feel it all the way down in my plums. Sir, there is a potentially fatal buildup of ice occurring. Well, have a cigar. They're made by real Cubans. I just picked up the Cubans at the bus station. What's going on? They're not real Cubans. They're Dominicans. I need your permission to operate independently. Permission granted! And one day he... he left and didn't come back. Which happens, dads leave. No need to be a pussy about it. This is my Jenny. This is T-Rex P. I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch out. This will feel a little weird. You are the master of your universe, and yet you are dripping with rat blood and feces. 